open your browser and go to archive.archlinux.org slash ISO go to the latest one and click the ISO file to download after that make a bootable USB drive if you're on Windows you can use Rufus if you're on Linux, you can use Bolina Etcher or Ventoy, or I prefer to use GNOME Disk Utility. Just click the USB drive, click the three dots, restore disk image, search for the file, and double click it, start restoring, restore. Once it's finished, just restart your computer and boot with the USB drive. Once you get to this screen, type arch install. Select your language, select the mirror. I'm from Brazil, so I'll select Brazil. Change the locale settings if you need it. On this configuration, you can select the first option and the installer will erase your disk and automatically create the partitions. Or you can select manual partitioning or pre-mounted configuration. I already have some partitions created, so I'll use manual partitioning. I'll select NVMe drive. I'll use this partition to be the bootloader, assign mount point, slash boot, mark to be formatted, change file system, FAT32, and this partition to be the system partition, assign mount point, just slash, Mark to be formatted, change file system, I'll use ext4, confirm and exit. I'm not using disk encryption. For bootloader, I like to use grub, just make things easier to set up. For swap, just leave it enabled. Host name, I'll just leave Arch Linux, root password, Confirm root password. User account, just create one. Type the password, confirm the password. And should Falgos be a super user? Yes. Confirm and exit. Profile, type, desktop. For this installation, I'm going to use KDE because it's the closest to the Windows interface. But if you want to use another desktop environment, go for it. For graphics driver, if you have an AMD card, just select the open source driver. And if you have an NVIDIA card, just select the proprietary. For Greeter, I'm just going to use SDDM. You can select another if you want. For audio, I use Pipewire, it works great for me. For kernels, just leave the default one. I'm not going to install any additional packages for now. For network configuration, use the network manager. Time zone, I'll type slash Sao Paulo is where I live. Automatic time sync, just leave it on. Optional repositories, make sure to mark Mutlib and install and press enter to continue. Once the installation is finished, just select no. But if you select yes by mistake, just type exit and reboot. Okay, between Wayland and X11, X11 performs better for gaming. And if you have a, any video card, you will have a hard time using Wayland.
I'll select X11 and log into my account. The first thing I'm going to do is change my monitor's refresh rate. So just right click on the desktop, configure display settings, and I'll change it to 144 hertz. I apply, keep, and now I'm going to disable the compositor because it hurts the game performance. Apply, close. Now I'm going to install some applications. I'll leave this file in the description if you want to use it, okay? Control Alt T to open the terminal. First, I'm going to install the Vulkan driver. So if you have an AMD card, install these packages. And if you have a NVIDIA card, install these packages. Just copy and right click and paste it or control shift v type your password and proceed done and now i'm going to install a browser i like to use chromium git to be able to clone github repositories steam feral game mode to tweak your system to improve gaming performance Mango Hood to show the game overlay with the hardware metrics and Wine Staging to be able to install and open Windows applications. Same thing, just copy and paste it. Proceed. All right, done. And now I want to install an application that is not available on the official arts repository. So for that, we need an AUR helper. I like to use yay. So to, to install yay, just copy these commands and paste it. Yay is installed, and now we can install the Go overlay to be able to set up our game overlay. Just copy and paste it. All right, done. Now I'll just close this window and this window and restart my system. Okay, just restarted. Now I'm going to open Go Overlay to set up our game overlay. Uh, a quick tip, just click Save to create the config file, close it and open again. To be able to see changes in real time uh, you can change the position right here performance if you have more than one graphics cards you can change it right here you can cap your fps if you want it here metrics that's what i want to change so my gpu 6800 xt my cpu 5600x. I want to show the average load, core frequency, memory frequency, temperature, um, power, VRAM, and drive version. I don't want load color. For CPU, I want average load, frequency, RAM, temperature. Uh, I don't want load color. And extras. Uh, Want, I just leave FPS and frame time and save. All right, great. I'll just close it. And now I'll open Steam and install a game. Okay, I just logged in with my account. And now I'll go to library and I'm going to install Resident Evil 2. It's not available because I don't have Proton enabled. So go to Steam, settings, Compatibility, enables team play for all other titles, and restart. Okay, just restarted. I'll close this, go to library, Resident Evil 2, and now it's available to install. I'll just install in the default location. Accept. The game is downloaded, and before we start, right click on the game. Properties, 
on launch options. Let's enable Mango Hood with capital letters equals one and Feral Game Mode with Game Mode Run. Percentage Command Percentage. Also make sure the game is running with Proton Experimental. And let's do it. I'll just change the graphic settings, options, graphics, change the resolution. Okay, yes. Presets, I'll set it to max. Super resolution off, 144. Variable vsync off, okay. We good. This is out of control. Shit. It's everybody. There it is, the station. As you can see the game is running smoothly and I just want to give some tips. Um, if you want to change the overlay position just right shift F11 and if you want it to hide or show right shift F12. The KDE file indexer is known by hurting gaming performance. So if you want to disable it, just copy this line, open your terminal and paste it. If you have an AMD card and you want to install the latest drivers, just copy these lines and paste it to your terminal. It will take some time to compile and install, so just go grab a coffee. Now I'll show you how to play a game that is not on Steam. For example, a Blizzard game. Just download the Battle.net app. Go to your file manager, downloads, and right click the file and open with Wine Program Loader. Just install the Wine Mono installer. Select the language. I like to install my games on a separate folder. So I'll go to home and create a new folder called games. Okay. And I'll change the location. I'll spend slash home folders and games. Select folder, I'll disable here, continue. All right, the Battle.net app is installed. I'm just going to close it. I'll close this window, close this window. And now I can use Steam to open the Battle.net. I'll go to library, 
add a game, add a non Steam game, browse and search for the Battle.net installation. Games, Battle.net, and Battle.net.exe. Add selected programs, right click it, you can rename it if you want it. I'll enable mango hood equals one game mode run percentage command percentage and run it with proton experimental. Okay. Now just run it. I'll log in with my account. Okay, I'm in. Let's click done. Let's close it, got it, and now I can install the game that I want to play. For example, World of Warcraft. Call of Duty won't work because of the anti-cheat, but Diablo 4 will, Overwatch will. I'll just install World of Warcraft to show you. I don't have an active subscription right now, so I'm just going to install the PTR. Uh, I don't have sufficient space in my disk, so I'll change it, the location, to run media, focus, data, games. This is my external drive. I'll install it right here and start install. Okay, the game is installed and I'll just hit play. I'll just change the graphics settings, menu, system, uh, vsync off, let me see. that's it guys I hope you enjoyed it consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video